guys, we are now on chapter 10 and we are looking at the three effects in, uh, in this chapter. The first effect is the real balance effect. Now, this whole chapter is really all about the price level and its impact on the economy in specific ways. And so in this one, we are saying, how does the price level impact real consumption? Because when you look at the actual definition of the real balance effect, it tells you that there's an inverse relationship between the price level and real consumption and consequently, consequently the real GDP itself. So if the price level rises, then real consumption is going to shrink. And if the price level shrinks, then real consumption is going to go up. But why? What I'm really interested in here is, is the why, is the actual mechanics of how this functions. Well, we start with the price level rising. The price level rising means the cost of living is actually higher than it used to be, right? So this means that the same amount of money that people actually bring is worth less. This is a reduction in purchasing power. But how do we say that in economics? We say this is a reduction in real income. And this is your missing link. In other words, what takes you from a rise in the price level to a reduction in real consumption is real income. So this is the missing link right here because a reduction in real income, remember what this means, and I'll put it in parentheses. Again, it means that purchasing power is diminishing. The same amount of goods and, per and, per goods and services that you were buying is now costing more. It takes more dollars to fulfill the same amount of units. Okay, so then how do people respond? People respond naturally by reducing their real consumption because this is real income you're looking at real consumption so the amount that's being consumed overall in the economy by the private sector specifically being the individual the household sector is actually going to shrink so what we are looking at here is when we look at total expenditures and we take consumption in isolation um, meaning when we are looking at Consumption, ceteris paribus. Real consumption shrinks, then ceteris paribus total expenditure shrinks, and therefore the real GDP as well. So one of the things we need to remember from Chapter 7 is why do we fear inflation? One of the three reasons we feel inflation is because it reduces the quality of our lifestyle. In other words, what's happening there is consumption shrinks in real terms. Therefore, we can't afford the same lifestyles anymore as we once did, and this can actually put a downward pressure on the economy and cause recessions. Okay, have a good one.